you, Nikki. Questions? Ryan? Uh, Mr. Aguilar, uh, some in your conference, Dean Phillips in particular, have said that he's willing to vote or to, to, not, to not be present for the vote in order to lower the threshold uh, if, Speaker, if uh, Tom Emmer is the nominee, which is heading in that direction. Do you support that? Is that a conversation that's happening within the Democratic caucus when you talk about a bipartisan path out of the Speaker's hand? That has been a conversation that we've, that we've had. Um, by the way, two points. Uh, one is, um, you know, he put some caveats behind that. Uh, he obviously mentioned some policy items, uh, the fiscal year bills coming up, aid to Israel and Ukraine, uh, changing rules. Um, those are things that um, I'm not certain that the Republican majority is serious about. But um, Dean Phillips throughout this last three weeks hasn't sat at the leadership table. Uh, he gave his resignation uh, before that. Um, so, uh, you know, the conversation has been, you know, we need a path forward uh, and we're willing to engage and have conversations. Uh, but that's not one that, uh, that we have spent any time with. Uh, can you tell us if you have had uh, conversations with specific members and about what policy priorities you and the Democratic leadership have, whether it's dropping the impeachment inquiry or anything else like that? I, I think that's one of the kind of blessings of this place is is dysfunctional as especially the last 21 days has been all of us um, Johanna Nikki Ted all of us have relationships with Republican colleagues um, generally you know it comes down to folks you work with within your committee or within your kind of geographic region um, those tend to be the relationships that you build across the aisle that are a little easier um, so I think all of us have had those types of conversations uh, in the elevators in the hallways uh, in committee rooms um, and uh, as Nikki mentioned you know they're they're reasonable folks um, who are thoughtful legislators on the other side of the aisle there there really are um, Jim Jordan is not one of them uh, and we viewed him as a threat to the speaker's chair. Uh, and that's why, you know, it was our top priority to make sure he did not sit in the speaker's chair. Um, it's not on us to fix the Republican dysfunction um, and their round robin voting that is going on, you know, right now. Uh, but uh, we are serious about making this place work. We are serious about funding government. Uh, we are serious about making sure that we look out for our allies uh, in Israel and Ukraine. Uh, those are things that we all want to get accomplished. Vice Chairman. Yeah. 